Welcome to a new video and in this video I want to do a camera comparison, a big request, the Google Pixel 6 against the Huawei P50 Pro. So let's get started. <music> Here we have the two devices and their camera system and you can see they have very fancy camera modules. In fact, the Google Pixel has I think a little bit bigger module here on the back, but it only features two sensors, 50 megapixel and 12 megapixel, 50 main and 12 megapixel ultra wide. The Huawei P50 Pro on the other hand has a little bit more 50 megapixel main sensor it has a periscope zoom and some other sensors here as well ultra wide angle 13 megapixel and a tele zoom as well i blend in the specs for you so you can compare between those two devices and uh, let's start with some video comparison we start with the front facing camera module of the can you guess it P50 Pro, it has nice stabilization, it has auto focusing, it should focus on my hand now and uh, maybe I should grab the pixel, it should focus on the pixel instead of my hand which might be a bit better, so focus on the pixel, focus on the pixel, there it is focusing on the pixel I think, I hope, here we go nice camera module of the pixel and maybe the front facing camera module as well, there you can see it there there we go <laughs> and yeah this is 1080p 60 frames per second that you can uh, do on the front facing camera but you can also do 4k uh, if you want to 4k 60 which is also pretty nice and you have the options to go like ultra wide stabilization suffers a little bit on the ultra wide we can also get closer which looks like this and uh, then you can see my wonderful hair that i need to cut today but uh yeah this middle one I think is the best one for the front facing camera and some people ask me oh, what camera is this that you're using it's just the front facing camera of the Huawei P50 Pro and doesn't have even a large sensor and still can offer such a good selfie video and this is the Pixels uh, front-facing video. It has the weaker camera sensor. You have also a zoom option. So I have one time, which is now, and I can go to 1.4 time, which is like a little bit zoomed in. I don't know why you have this option, but anyway, this is the uh, Pixels front-facing camera. And uh, I don't think it has autofocus. Is it focusing on anything? Can I focus on the Huawei? Uh, I don't think it has autofocus on the front facing camera and uh, also I think that the uh, sensor is a bit smaller the dynamic range might be not so good we don't have like a good weather right now it's very cloudy so I cannot test dynamic range so much but uh, what do you think about the pixels front facing uh, camera and uh, 1080p 30 frames per seconds only and now the main camera of the Pixel 6 50 megapixel 1 over 1.3 inch sized sensor very large sensor so you get a very good background blur I think stabilization at 1080p 60 frames per second should be good enough as well and with the main camera on the back you can of course also shoot 4k up to 60 frames per second which is pretty cool on the Google Pixel 6 the cool thing is even when I'm recording 1080p 60 frames per second, I can, when I'm here on a little football field, I can just zoom out to the ultra wide angle. And this is now the ultra wide angle that can also record 1080p 60 frames per second. And this is one thing that the Huawei P50 Pro cannot do. The ultra wide angle cannot record 60 frames per second. It can record 4K but it cannot record 60 frames per second, which is a bit of a letdown, I would say. Uh, even though the megapixel count is good enough, I think they're using a sensor that is not fast enough for the readout speeds. But let's compare it with the Huawei P50 Pro. So now almost the same position as the uh, Pixel 6 and now with the P50 Pro's main camera sensor also very large sensor that we have here 1 over 1.5 inch size sensor I guess could be also the older 1.1 1 .1 over 1.23 size sensor 
no inch size sensor no one knows it really uh, but I just refer it to the 1 over 1.5 inch size sensor and we can record 1080p here 60 frames per second but also 4k up to 60 frames per second but you cannot switch to the ultra wide angle you can go to the zoom lenses if you want to so there's a little dog running around here and what I can do is I can just zoom in and it will switch over there to the zoom lens and you can see this woman walking with the little dog I can even zoom in a little bit more 10 times zoom and you can see it is pretty clear for 10 times uh, zoom that is not optically done but hybrid but what you cannot do is like switch to the ultra wide angle so i have to pause the video right now switch to the ultra angle uh, ultra wide angle in 1080p 30 frames per second and i can show you more of this football field here so let's do it now the ultra wide angle and as you can see here it is really ultra wide the 13 megapixel ultra wide angle 1080p 30 and of course if i'm recording 1080p 30 i can switch through all the lenses if i want to so let me show the football field i'm standing here right on and as you can see here i can now zoom in to the one time lens that's switched right now i can zoom in even more if i want to to this goal here and now it switches to another lens you can see the dog running here there and now i'm at five point something in terms of uh, zoom i can also go to a bit further even as you can see here 20 times 14 times zoom which works pretty nice and then ultra wide angle again and yeah maybe you can see the dog running around behind me so this is working pretty nice so the google pixel definitely uh, pixel 6 especially has stands no chance against the huawei p50 pro's zoom capability because it's just simply miles ahead in terms of this especially also in video mode uh, what do you think about this uh, stabilization colors and so on write it down in the comment section now we will do some photo comparisons so here we have the photos on the left the p50 pro always and on the right the pixel 6. we start off with the super wide angle or ultra wide angle on both of those devices so what we can see we have a brighter exposure on the p50 pro and also a wider field of view on the p50 pro because we have 13 millimeter in contrast to the pixel 6 ultra wide 16 millimeters only then we can see the brighter yeah, exposure also here on this land post we can see that the pixel managed to make it a little bit sharper here on the side which is very interesting but as soon as i go to the middle here you can see that in terms of sharpness and sharpening applied i think the pixel is lacking a little bit so the sharpness in the middle let's just go here this is the middle here it's the middle let's take a look here you can see that it's a lot more fuzzy and a lot more soft on the pixel 6 in contrast to the p50 pro even though the p50 pro has the wider field of view and in theory could mean that it is a little bit unsharper than the pixel 6 because the pixel 6 has a little bit more um yeah to show it is completely here in the in the you can see the complete field here unsharp or more unsharper than the pixel uh, than the p50 pro so the p50 pro has a little bit of sharpening issue on the sides this is normal this is the usual thing that you get when you have very ultra wide angle kind of looks it's a bit interesting here to see that on the right side the pixel looks uh, a bit sharper than on the left side which is a bit of weird could be like an issue with the lens itself but it is cleaned up so it's it's also brand new so uh, shouldn't be that issue but you can see here also the exposure is a lot darker on the pixel 6 in terms of dynamic range clouds you can see not much of a difference it's basically the same just the exposure is a little bit darker on uh, you can see the the ground here there is uh, also a bit of a difference in terms of sharpness again the p50 pro just seems to be a tad sharper and it could be also due to processing um, but i think it's just the lens as well that is a bit of sharper here when we take a look at further pictures here the main sensor which is a very large and cool sensor on the pixel 6 
against the P50 Pro's main sensor, which is also a very large sensor, but it should be a little bit smaller than the Pixel 6 sensor. But on this shot with the bokeh applied and so on, I really don't see it. The only thing that where I can see it is if I zoom in and here we have the same issue. If I'm the thing that I was focusing on, it tends or should be sharp on the Pixel 6 and it is sharp but not as sharp and detailed as on the P50 Pro, which is interesting. So it is, has like this some kind of softening effect going on. And it gets very, very soft quickly on the edges where the P50 Pro doesn't get so uh, unsharp so quickly. This might be one factor where it's showing that the P50 Pro has a little bit of smaller sensor because you have a little bit more of yeah, sharpness, depth of field basically that you can use for your sharpness and you don't have this on the P, on the Pixel 6. But um, I'm not so sure about this, I have to say, because the bokeh around it, you can see, is almost the same, almost indistinguishable from each other. Is there, is there much difference? I really don't see it. So uh, if there's a difference, it's a very slight different difference. When we come to contrast, we can see that the contrast, the, there's a bit of more contrast here in the leaves um, than on the Pixel 6 for some reason. So you can see it here, the exposure is a bit brighter basically on the Pixel 6. But we can also see the background when we take a look at this, it's a bit more blue, darker bluish here on the uh, P50 Pro and a bit more white and a bit, yeah, maybe maybe even a little bit like wrong colors, I'm not sure. A uh, bit overexposed colors here in the sky in the background. But we will see this in the next photos where we can compare a little bit more that we still have a little bit of a darker exposure on the Pixel 6, a bit brighter on the P50 Pro. Uh, I think the green grass is a bit too punchy. It's not only darkness here applied, but a bit more punchiness on the Pixel 6. Uh, when it comes to detail levels, so we can see this here. First of all, they have a different field of view. I think it's 26 millimeters on the P50 Pro, 27 millimeters, and the Pixel 6 has 24 millimeters. Both shoot with the main sensor 12 megapixels. Uh, the sensor sizes are also 50 megapixels on both. So this is a um, slight difference. When we take a look at the houses here in the background, what we can see is, first of all, the darker exposure, but in terms of detail level, I don't see on the Pixel 6 the roof and the tiles on the roof. I cannot see. I think it looks to me like it's one brown, darkish color of the, of, of the roof. And here on the P50 Pro, first of all, it is uh, a bit cooler a bit brighter and I can see tiles, I can see a structure on the roof that is not visible on the Pixel 6. So in terms of details, uh, I think the P50 Pro has the slight edge. In terms of dynamic range, you know, it's like a very cloudy, we have autumn here, cloudy mess basically, uh, but a bit of sun is visible. But I think also here the P50 Pro uh, here, first of all, the Pixel 6 is a bit unsharp already. The P50 Pro, we can see the HDR effect around the leaves, um, which is might be not so preferable, but very, very, very close, maybe a slight edge on the P50 Pro. But this is really, really slight. But what we can also see is we have a little bit of warmer colors, and this is throughout all the photos that we see here especially in these shots and these shots um, that were taken with the main camera. Uh, we can see this very, very hard. It's a, it's a darkish, bluish, autumn kind of feeling or weather outside basically. And uh, yeah, the P50 Pro is really taking a photo that is showing accurately how the weather looks like. The Pixel 6 for some reason wants it to be an uh, spring-like uh, with sun in the background photo everything is a bit of yellowish like a yellow filter uh, that took over here and makes everything yellowish a bit maybe due to the orange disc uh, golf park sign here i'm not sure so sure in terms of details here uh, almost the same nothing much uh, difference here but the color is i think the main uh, difference here and when we zoom in you can see it 
tends to keep the colors even when zoomed in. It's a digital crop. Two times I think I zoomed in here on the Pixel 6 because it's digital crop only. And it tends to be take the same colors because it's the same sensor, but it brightens up, I think, the scene a little bit. And when we zoom in with the P50 Pro, you can see here it's also roughly two times. It changes the colors a bit. It's also brightening up a lot. I'm not sure what sensor it is using because it has a three and a half optical zoom. Maybe it's like using some combination of uh, zoom, but it's also two times zoom in terms of detail level. Uh, both like using some kind of digital or hybrid zoom technology. Um, the Pixel 6, I think, only digital cropping and the P50 Pro, uh, some kind of hybrid zoom. And it looks a bit less processed on the P50 Pro, more natural, I would say. Uh, even though there's a big color shift, it tends to keep the, the coolness of the scene where the Pixel 6 still has this warmness that simply wasn't there. Uh, talking about zoom, uh, this is by the way the three and a half times zoom on the left. Uh, you can see it's super super clear, super super sharp, even better than the two times zoom. But when it comes to zoom levels, of course, the P50 Pro has a 10 times hybrid zoom, and this works wonders here. A football game was uh, going on, and try to zoom in to the players, roughly 10 times zoom here on both. And um, yeah, let's go just to one of those players. You can see it's like a um, a modern art on the Pixel 6, so not very good. On the P50 Pro it's a lot better, but it's still not perfect because even the Pixel, the, the, the P50 Pro has this nice algorithm that count everything together. Shooting through a fence is very, very hard here and getting all the details right. So it is also like a little bit like a modern art, but it looks uh, better, clearer than the Pixel 6. And uh, so in terms of zooming, yeah, the P50 Pro is the winner here. Then another shot with the ultra wide angle to show you again that even the ultra wide angle suffers from this more warmish kind of tone on the Pixel 6 for some reason. Also the cloud is a bit overexposed here, the clouds you can see here we can get more details on the P50 Pro. And uh, in general, you get wider field of view, more details in the center. It's sharper than the Pixel. Um, the Pixel's ultra wide angle is simply not good, not on par with flagship uh, at all. And uh, you can see this with every shot that the sharp sharpness is just simply missing. Uh, the warmer kind of feeling and the, the, the um, I would say, processing that the Pixel 6 uses is consistent throughout the lenses, so the ultra wide angle and the main lens, uh, the P50 Pros as well, but I think the Pixel is a little bit better uh, there maybe. But in general, like here also leaves and so on, it is simply sharper on the P50 Pro. The P50 Pro has the better wide, ultra wide angle. Then in terms of colors, what we can see here, it's also very interesting. Again, a little bit of warmer color on the Pixel 6, a bit of more bluish uh, color, a bit colder color on the P50 Pro. You can see this in the background. We can see that the uh, Pixel 6 lifts the shadows up a little bit. You can see this here on the ground and the leaves. First of all, it's a bit unsharp here uh, for some reason on the Pixel 6, but uh, the Pixel 6 could be also, it's the main lens by the way, uh, could be also that uh, shallow depth of field, the main lens is a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, it's lifting the shadows, so you don't get nice shadows on the Pixel 6. I think it's lifting it a little bit too much uh, for my taste. When it comes to colors here, because this one has like a fancy colored bag, I think the P50 Pro is adding a little bit more punch to the red color and to the blue color. This is now shot with the AI enabled. I forgot to disable it and shoot again, because usually when on the P50 Pro you disable AI, it is then um, showing you more accurate colors than, and then boosting colors. So here it's boosting the colors a little bit, so the colors on the Pixel 6 look definitely more right here to uh, how it looked in the, on the scene is, uh, itself. When it comes to yeah, HDR and stuff, you can see a bit warmer exposure in the sky, I told you already. Sharpness, again, I think the P50 Pro nails it and the Pixel 6 is ever so slightly unsharp. Yeah, I'm, I'm comparing two flagship devices here. Oh, the Pixel 6 should be a flagship device and uh, the P50 Pro is definitely a flagship device. And so I have to get also those little nitpicks out here 
and and, and uh, show it to you and show the differences that I see in those pixels uh, because otherwise you can see uh, photos are almost yeah the same interestingly enough the kind of warmer color that we had on the pixel 6 is also there on the selfie cam but also the p50 pro tends to in this scene to create or choose a warmer kind of color and you can see that we have very very uh, much the same kind of colors and uh, the same kind of field of view maybe t a tad bluish a tad cooler on the p50 pro but in general because it's like the autumn leaves in the background very orangish brownish uh, kind of uh, background um, both are very good you can see the difference in terms of uh, field of view we have i think 13 mega uh, 13 millimeter on the um, P50 Pro and I think it is 16 or 18 millimeters on the Pixel 6 so the field of view everyone was liking the Pixel 6 for its wide field of view on the selfie cam yeah if you compare it to previous versions of Pixel phones maybe but the P50 Pro clearer uh, is here clearly the winner though the Pixel um, has also the option to zoom in it's lacking an option to zoom out further and the p50 pro is just the middle position here 0.8 times and it can zoom out to 0.6 times so you get even a wider field of view uh, and also, of course it can also zoom in one times so then you get roughly the same uh, photo that i have here with the pixel 6 maybe tight text more zoomed in when it comes to sharpness the pixel 6 doesn't have autofocus and you can see this my face i think if i would share it on social media it would look nice i would say there's a bit of more contrast in in my face for some reason and uh, here my hair can see it and you can see it's ever so slightly not sharp enough i would say because it, either the lens is not sharp enough or it's the autofocus but let's just compare zoom in my face here and zoom in my face here and you can see clearly this is what a sharp face looks like on the p50 pro you can see all the little hairs here in my face uh, hair on top and uh, yeah the the beard hairs as well it's and my double chin uh, uh, <laughs> it's a lot sharper on the p50 pro and uh, yeah even here in the jacket you can see the little details and it is sharper and more detailed on the p50 pro the p50 pro has the better selfie camera when compared to the pixel 6. let's go to another photo where i can show you again what processing and white balance can do to a scene on the left we have the cloudy rain clouds coming kind of feeling oh it is autumn it's getting cold and it's rainy on the right we have like oh it looks a bit like a cloudy summer day <laughs> eventually and this is a big huge difference and for some reason the pixel 6 in all my photos tends to make like bring autumn and make it late summer or something like this which is clearly not the case here because it was going to rain and when i look at the pavement here it is so clear that this is more bluish or coldish on the p50 pro and so much warmer so much warmer on the pixel 6 and yeah it wasn't like this <laughs> so the pixel 6 is creating something that doesn't look like the scene that i was in and now is the question what like, looks better the warmish one might people prefer eventually the warmish one but if i have to create a photo what do i want do i want to create like an artificial kind of thing that's super super optimized and looks nice or i want to reproduce and create something that looks like reality and um, in this case i think the p50 pro is the winner in the other case maybe the pixel 6. when we take a look at details again croppability colors a bit darkish a bit more yellowish a bit more bright on the pixel 6 the pixel 6 tends to lift up a little bit the shadows again you can see this here also at the lights uh, pedestrian light and uh, yeah uh, detail level take a look at the bricks here of the house in the background and compare it to the pixel 6 i think there's a bit more detail a tad more detail on the p50 pro in contrast to the pixel 6 um, can i move to something else here to show you both 
have I think not captured this very sharp but I think the Pixel 6 is a little bit mm, less sharp than the P50 Pro and uh, yeah yeah this is basically also the tree you can see it a lot more sharp on the P50 Pro even though I think it is it looks a bit artificially sharpened up by the P50 Pro the Pixel 6 is a bit softer in general so you have to nitpick otherwise it doesn't work this way uh, you cannot otherwise compare much because here you can see it looks almost identical though the shadows a bit darker on the p50 pro again and on the pixel 6 we have a little bit lifted shadows here in the car region for example and a bit warmer exposure again look at the pavement it's a bit cooler on the left and a bit warmer on the right uh, so yeah it's the same kind of thing that we had before and in terms of sharpness, yeah, again, I think the P50 Pro is doing a better job. Take a look at the brickwork and compare it with here. Or take a look at the uh, Mrs. Sporty, I think it is, uh, sign in the background. It's more clearer on the P50 Pro. When we take a look at this photo here again, we can see a big difference in white balance again, a lot warmer and um, more brighten up lifted shadows on the Pixel 6 and a bit colder, cooler on the P50 Pro. But what I was interested in is the sun going down here and on the left on the P50 Pro I can see the yellowish kind of sun going down there. On the Pixel 6 it's overexposing completely so the dynamic range on the Pixel 6 doesn't seem as good as on the P50 Pro. The P50 Pro we know already is a dynamic range monster so it doesn't really uh, surprise me here. But what surprised me really is that the Pixel 6, despite having such a large sensor, it seems to have a worse kind of lens or worse, kinds of, worse kind of processing uh, because yeah, the sharpness in the brickwork and it's a lot softer. It's here towards the middle, it's, it's okay. But on the sides, it gets like super, super soft. You can see it here maybe as well. Let's go here. Let's go here. Uh, of course, the warmness and uh, difference here. But take a look at the lamp and the lamp post. Of course, it is like a difference because it's a 24 millimeters, 27 millimeters, so you're a bit closer up on the P50 Pro. But still, the lamp, everything looks a tad sharper here. This window looks a bit sharper. The other lamp, the brickwork here, it looks like a soft mess on the Pixel 6. Also, the trees here, the leaves on the tree sharper than on the Pixel 6. So the Pixel 6 has this issue with its optics, I would say. The ultra wide angle, again, 16 millimeters with 13 millimeters that can make a difference here. I can get the whole church in one photo on the P50 Pro and on the Pixel 6, I can only get yeah, almost everything <laughs> in the shot. More dramatic, I think, is the P50 Pro. Let's take a look at sharpness and compare it with the Pixel 6 to show you again Pixel 6 is a bit closer up because 16 against 13 millimeters, but sharpness is not there, it's lacking. Uh, granted, it might be on the P50 Pro a little bit sharpening applied to make the bricks like standing out a little bit more, but it is overall, you can see it here, you can see it there. I think that the Pixel's ultra wide angle is not that good. It is not on a flagship level it is on a level of a premium mid-ranger i would say but not on a flagship level and this is sadly the case not only in in, in uh, dim lit situations but dim lit situations you can see it even more but also in daylight situations if you zoom in closely you have to do this if you want to compare it to flagships then you see the difference two times against three and a half times zoom i think uh, yeah i don't have to say much both use some kind of digital uh, zoom and uh, when they want to zoom in a little bit more uh, you can do so on the p50 pro and you can see yeah uh, it is now i think 10 times zoom and it looks still okayish here in terms of colors yeah uh, not much of a difference i would say a bit more contrasty look here on the p50 pro then we had this artificial flower that was lying there on the ground for some reason and I thought ah, why not just try to focus closely and see how much focus um, how much closer I can focus to it 
So close up focusing distance was this and this was the one on the P50 Pro with the main lens. The P50 Pro can switch automatically also to the macro lens which is oops, which is using the ultra wide angle which looks like this so I get a little bit closer even uh, if I want to but you can also see that a little bit sh of, of color shift is going on. When you take a look at those photos what we can see here first of all the zoomed in out shot is we have a bit more of a pinkish color here on the P50 Pro and we have a bit more of shadows here you can see the leaf and the leaf but a little more darker here shadows contrasty uh, look uh, sharpness again of course on the P P50 Pro better than on the Pixel uh, sharpness here both okay um, more contrasty different white balance different kind of green and I have to say again that the P50 Pro looks more realistic than the Pixel 6 I don't know what uh, but I think uh, Google has to work a little bit on their color science um, because also it was clearly not this white it was clearly more kind of uh, this pinkish color that this flower had and uh, you can see here when I'm going to a closer up it is getting a bit more pinkish here um, yeah sharpness again super super sharp um, both I would say in the middle no issues at all uh, shallow depth of field on the Pixel 6 for some reason so it gets getting a lot unsharper there. I'm not sure if this is the best that Pixel could do they should have maybe stick to something that does a little bit better. Here a shot where I can say wow both pretty much doing the same job not much to complain just again the only thing difference that you can see in color science is like the P50 Pro has the more accurate colors because it was a bit colder it was a bit coldish kind of look and the Pixel 6 warms up everything and lifts the shadows up and uh, this is the result but in terms of details and sharpness I think they managed both to do great here so let's go to low light photos and this is um, yeah p50 pro nighttime king i would say still the P pixel 6 in this completely dark uh, uh, bathroom no windows bathroom and closed door everything dark i couldn't even see the things that i was photographing there and both managed to create some a photo out of it which is amazing but uh, clearly you can see more details and more accurate colors on the P50 Pro even though it's going a little bit in the greenish kind of region the Pixel 6 has some kind of bluish uh, overcast here and uh, detail level is very grainy the P50 Pro was grainy probably and adds a lot of softening to soften this up but uh, in general I think the P50 Pro has more accurate colors and has a brighter shot if you really want to do this. When you come to uh, such shots like this one here we have uh, a difference in white balance again. Interestingly enough it's a bit brighter and a bit more yellowish now on the P50 Pro and a bit more bluish here on the Pixel 6. The Pixel 6 suffers from issues with the night mode where it doesn't get sharp things like like text or something like this it's just getting a little bit blurry so the stacking that they use for the night mode is not working perfectly on the pixel 6 i showed this already in my um, nighttime uh, photo review of the pixel 6 and it suffers here as well if you want to know more about nighttime uh, mode uh, the Pixel 6 um, has issues with, with blown out highlights, it cannot recover those highlights and uh, has this sharpness issues that I showed you here. Uh, that is basically it. So my conclusion here in terms of photos, uh, the P50 Pro more accurate colors, the Pixel 6 uh, cannot keep up with the P50 Pro uh, only occasionally it can keep up but when you take a look at the details it's simply the P50 Pro has the better ultra-wide angle, has a flagship ultra-wide angle. The Pixel 6 has a mid-range ultra-wide angle. You have to say it like this, even in daylight conditions, it is just a mid-range ultra-wide angle and uh, detail levels are missing. They are doing a lot of with computational photography, but I think the white balance is a little bit off. They tend to create warmer scenes that I really don't like when I want to have accurate colors. Um, I can of course in post-production change this to be a bit more cooler but the, the, the sharpness and, and the, the issues that the Pixel 6 has 
cannot be um, yeah, corrected uh, so much and uh, in general the camera system is a premium mid-range camera system but I would not count it in the same ballpark as the P50 Pro in terms of uh, camera performance. I would even say the iPhone is much much closer to the P50 Pro than the Pixel 6 ever so um, the Pixel 6 is much much worse than the iPhone in this uh, regard and I would put the Pixel 6 in the premium mid-range device where it is a little bit better than the Honor 50's main camera sensor and ultra wide angle and is competing more with last year's is it last year's LG Wing uh, phone than um, that it can compete with, with, with high-end uh, flagship uh, smartphones but you can write down in the comment section what you think about those uh, photos here. So I think we have a clear winner Pixel 6 against Huawei P50 Pro of course the Pixel 6 is good but can it compete with the Huawei P50 Pro? You write it down in the comment section what do you think? I think in terms of video Huawei is better than Google but what about photos? I'm very interested what you have to say about this so write it down in the comment section. This is everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye!